And if they happen to like someone else better, like there could be people that listen to me for a while and maybe like, you know what, I'm getting tired of this shit. But now that I listen to this, I might listen to that. And that's OK. You know what I'm saying? They're, that's just what it is. Uh, it's like not everyone is going to like Escargo. Not everyone's going to like Carne Asada. There's different shit, different tastes for everyone, man. And and that's what in our community, we don't all speak the same shit. We don't all cover the same shit. We come at we may come from it from different angles, and that's okay. And, and I think the more people get exposed to it, the better overall it is for everyone else. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Yeah, absolutely. And <clears throat> the other thing, the other advantage that I think we have over the rest of the media space, uh, in in addition to not having that competitive mentality necessarily, is because of the fact that we don't have that competitive mentality, it's more likely that our work is going to pro- proliferate and last into the future in order to educate future generations of human beings, much more so than what the mainstream is going to have survive into the future and definitely more than, than what I think the, even the mammies, uh, as David Ike likes to call them, uh, are going to have survive into the future. I think our community uh, has a real chance to establish a lasting legacy in the media space 